In today's video, I'm going to be talking about how you guys can stand out in some of the bigger Redbubble niches. This is something that was actually requested by one of you guys. A big shout out to whoever sent me in this question. Hi guys, my name is Phil and welcome to the Money Game YouTube channel. For anyone that's new around here, I make print on demand content to both motivate and to give you guys tips and tricks on how you can actually grow your print on demand shops. If this is the first time you happen to be coming across my channel, if you don't want to miss out on the opportunity of tips and tricks that could help you make extra cash, make sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on your notification bell so that you're notified every time I do upload. And as for everyone else, if you happen to find this video useful at any point a like rating is always very much appreciated right so the full message that was actually sent in by one of you guys said how do you stand out in niches like halloween christmas black friday which i'm not too sure if it's a niche but i'll keep reading as there are almost thousands of designs making the niches too competitive for new sellers so how can we rank better in the red bubble algorithm it's a very good request if i can say so myself now in this video i'll focus on two of the holidays they mentioned the so one was halloween one was christmas for anyone who's struggling to rank in those niches what I have found is that you need to go into the sub niches which I'm going to talk about but before I do for anyone that is new to the channel I have a free print on demand starter guide that's linked down in the description but if you're someone that's trying to make this more into a full-time thing I have a paid step-by-step -step course that will fast track you to print on demand success also linked down below now with that out of the way I'll actually go over and show you how you can find these sub niches it's a lot easier than you think and I know a lot of you guys will probably be annoyed that you didn't even think of this in the first place right guys so i've just jumped onto rubber ball and i'm going to be showing you how you can actually sub niche on bigger niches now a lot of people don't actually use this and this can give you a big advantage when it comes to standing out in the bigger niches now the main niches that were spoke about in the message that was requested by one of you guys were halloween and christmas so i'm just going to start off with halloween to start with halloween as a trend itself if we were just to search that you see that it's a fairly big niche with 400 and 92,888 results which is insane and I know a lot of you guys were having the same problems when you try to actually post your designs in a niche like this you'd struggle to get your designs found it would be hard to get yourself noticed now how you actually sub niche in something like this is by using the A to Z method after the main word so in this case Halloween is the main word so what you then do is type Halloween space A see what pops up space b see what pops up space c see what pops up and just keep going through whatever pops up as trending next to halloween seeing how big the results are in that sub niche for example this sub niche for halloween has 3000 582 designs which is a lot less than the 400,000 we saw before and if we were to constantly do this and go from every letter a to z we would always find some niches with results that are lower than a thousand or very very close to being lower than a thousand that we can put our designs in and once those designs then start selling as long as you have the main niche keyword in this example halloween in your tags if you start getting sales in the sub niche you would then eventually get pushed to the bigger niche which would allow you to stand out a lot of people don't use this the next suggestion was christmas so i'll just do the same thing you type in christmas up top and then space a i'll be checking what would come through if there's nothing b all the way to z just trying to have a look at what I can actually go into in terms of trends. Because all you want to do pretty much is to find something trending to allow you to boost you onto the main keyword, which in this instance will be Christmas. And once again, if you go from A to Z, there will always be something there. From my own experience and my own research and trying it out firsthand, there's always something there. And you can easily go from results that are as high as 100,000, as you can see there, to as low as you can see here with 592 results, with I think a design that's a reference to Fortnite. I'm not seeing fortnite in the titles and if you were doing this i also wouldn't put it in the titles or the tags either nevertheless you could end up finding sub niches this small or even smaller by using this method if you're not doing it try it out and this could help you to stand out in a lot of the bigger niches so yeah guys it's that simple i've spoke about the a to z method many times before i talk about it in my free starter guide i talk about it in plenty of other videos before this if you want to check any of them out i'll put my red bubble playlist down in the description if you want to check any of those videos out I'll put my red bubble playlist 
down in the description. The aim of the game is to make sure that you are looking for sub niches to these bigger niches and this will make you stand out. If you start to get sales in a subsector of this niche, then be pushed onto the big niche. For example, for example, if one of your tags is Halloween and another tag is a sub niche that you found, once you start getting sales in the sub tag, you will then be pushed onto the bigger tag. I've experienced this myself with certain items that I have ranking on the first pages with over 100,000 results. I hope you guys do go on to find this information useful and more so, I hope you guys actually apply this to your shops. Because if you put the time into the research using the method I showed, you start to find a lot of smaller niches that you wouldn't have expected. Trust me. This is a very effective way that will actually help you to stand out in regards to the bigger niches. So try it and definitely let me know how it goes. I look forward to seeing your responses. Anyways, that is it for today's video. If you've made it this far, firstly, you are amazing. Down in the comment section, comment down, I will stand out. Because trust me guys, if you use this method, you will notice you will start to stand out in the bigger niches over time. I'm going to leave it there for today, guys. Always remember that everything is rigged in your favor and manifest success.